coronavirus is in Uganda and some other parts of the world. This has drastically changed my life over these past weeks. Here we have a great need for food, for PPEs, and just to help persons with disabilities so that they get through this situation. It is the hunger, it is the risk of infection, it is also the lack of medical supplies, medical items. So when those are in certes, I think that panics and that affects people more than the COVID-19 itself. Coronavirus is currently a global disaster. Persons with disabilities are most at risk during this disaster. Because we have no personal protection. Then we have economic problems. COVID's been a really, really difficult time for many of us living with mental health issues. The mental health service system hasn't been equipped to deal with a lot of our issues. There's been a lot more violence, a lot more isolation. Um, there's been very uh, limited access to support, such as therapy and peer support. As a re result of COVID-19, I had no income from here in last five months. So, at present, we are suffering from extreme problems of food, medical care and shelter. Children with hearing impairments were not able to follow lessons on radio like other children. The same for blind children that cannot follow on television. They need to be facilitated to access courses. I cannot easily communicate with others. I totally depend on lip reading and facial expression. Using maps and mental and physical distance hinder in my communication. COVID has really affected me. Um, also, keeping the social distance with my guide has, has been a big challenge. And also, accessing the sanitizers uh, at the grassroots level has been a total mess because we cannot access them. Access to accurate and timely information in this time of coronavirus is one of the greatest challenges faced by people with hearing impairments in Uganda and I'm sure some other parts of the world. For world leaders, the simple message from me is that uh, COVID-19 is testing our leadership styles our leadership experience and our leadership capacities. It is helping us to rethink how leadership is designed and how leadership is implemented. I am seeking cooperation from all leader uh, to, for girls and men with disabilities for their livelihood and health protective service. And we would definitely appreciate any intervention from any development partner that would mitigate the effects of COVID-19 or the coronavirus on persons with disabilities. I wish to tell world leaders to operationalize the concept of leaving no one behind, to ensure communication, networking, compassion, participation and access are enhanced. World leaders to empower DPOs to be able to reach out to grassroots to deliver preventive and protective measures. After the COVID-19, I wish to see an inclusive recovery mechanism and the measures which are completely inclusive to persons with disabilities regarding future calamities. In the future, national governments and international organizations need to include deaf people and deaf-led organizations as an integral part of all emergency response plans, which center the use of national sign languages in all communications and health services. We can't focus on human rights without a justice narrative and perspective. The disability community should be inclusive. The leaders should embrace humanity and prioritize people and focus. The world should enhance its disability-friendly programs and 
an inclusive society should be a top priority. So we persons with disabilities appeal to the United Nations and other government organizations to stand by us by reaching the victims who are crying out for psychosocial materials and financial support. We need reintegration and rehabilitation and sustainable lives as human beings. I would want to see world leaders formulate policies that are inclusive to persons with disabilities other than them being sidelined uh, in this whole pandemic crisis. We had a very expected share and shaker and we hope we would not face the same barrier again in the future disaster. My recommendation on this pandemic is to transform crises into opportunities for PWDs by the implementation of vocational training, placing entrepreneurship as the best alternative of self-sustainability for PWDs on this region. As leaders make decisions, they should not fear making broad and bold decisions for the world. 